Hello, welcome everyone. This is Professor Gray, Edward Gray here with you and welcome to our freshman English course. It's great to have you here. Um, unfortunately, I'm sad, I'm sorry that I can't be with you in the classroom. That's where I'd love to be right now. Uh, but as we all know, we cannot meet yet in the classroom. We've been fighting this terrible pandemic for a year and a half now, but I think we're winning. It's just gonna take a little more time. Okay? We, we've all had to be a little patient with online classes and not going to school, even though we'd like to. Uh, but I think it's working and I'm hoping we can maybe be in the classroom sometime this semester. I don't know yet. Right now, we have to do online classes. So this class will be conducted only online for now. If the situation changes, the rules change, things get better, I would absolutely love to meet you in the classroom instead of online. Let's see how it goes and let's hope for good news as the semester goes on. Anyway, welcome to our class. As I told you last week, instead of meeting in class or on uh, live, live uh, streams, I prefer to send you a video of the class every week. Each Monday, I will send you an email in the morning, sort of introducing the week's plan, and an email in the early afternoon with a link to a video that you can upload online. The video will basically be the class. I'm going to teach the class to the camera just like I would in the classroom. So it'll be the same class and there will be two every week. One will be the main lecture video and one will be the listening lab class. So every week you will upload two videos, watch them, do the work with me in the video and do the homework and then send me your homework by Thursday. I will usually give you till Thursday morning, which is uh, almost three days to get the work done. It's plenty of time. So our class will be like a live class in the classroom, but you'll be watching me on the video and doing the work while you watch. And then of course, doing the homework. That is how our class will proceed. Now, once or twice during the semester, we might meet online on WebEx or Zoom, but I'll let you know about that later. For now, just be prepared to watch the videos every week and do the work on your own time. I like this system because it allows you more freedom rather than having to be at your computer at a certain time. You can do the work on your own time and with the video, sometimes it's easier. You can pause it, go back, listen again if you miss something. I think doing it this way is more convenient and actually better for you uh, for learning English. Okay, uh, as you know, this morning I sent you the class syllabus. Um, I'd like you to, to look at the uh, syllabus, I'll quickly go over it now. Uh, there are two textbooks in our class, okay? We'll have two videos every week. One will be based on the Green Book, University English for Today. This is the main book for our class. This is the reading book where we look at reading and grammar and vocabulary. You can get this at the school bookstore. You must get it this week. The other book is our Listening Lab book, okay? It's blue. Remember, there's similar books that are different colors. Get the blue book, right? Expanding Tactics for Listening. This book is also at the campus bookstore, uh, B2 of our dome. Please get the books this week. You must have them for next Monday's lecture, okay? You don't need to do any work this week but you must get the books for next week to be ready for next week's lecture. Uh, don't worry about office information. We're not on campus anyway. Uh, if you need to contact me, all of our contact will be 
via email. Course objective. The objective of this course is to give students an introduction to studying English at the university level. The main focus of the class will be the readings from the textbook. That's the green book, along with the grammar and vocabulary from the chapters. Grammar, vocabulary, reading skills, and so on. Speaking and listening skills will be practiced during the lab period. The lab is the blue book that will be a separate video lecture each week. There will be two exams during the semester, a midterm exam, week eight or week nine, I'll let you know later. And the final exam, of course, in week 15. The final exam is for all Hongi freshman classes. Same exam all together at the same time. Don't worry today about exams, of course, we're just starting but I'll give you more information later in a few weeks as the midterm time gets closer. There will also be one lab test based on this book. I'll give you uh, one exam to review all of the listening lab material and that'll be near, not week 15, but near the end of the class, the semester. Look at the grades. Midterm exam is 20% of your final grade. Final exam is 40% of your final grade. The lab test will be 20% and attendance participation is 20%. Uh, very important. You, the attendance and participation is watching the video, doing the work, doing the homework, emailing me your homework on time. Okay? If it's not on time, it's late and you will lose points. If it's too late, then it's just you're absent, okay? You must do the work, do it on time to be given credit for attendance and credit for doing your work, your homework. That's of course part of the participation grade. Uh, now, uh, I should tell you that Hongik has a grading curve. Each semester they tell us how we, the maximum number of A's and B's we can give. I must follow that rule. So in my class, if you score a 90% or higher, that's an A, 80% or higher, that's a B, 70% or higher, that's a C, and so on. Plus grades are plus five, 90 plus five, 95 A plus, 80 plus five, 85B+, plus, and so on. But I adjust them according to the university rules. So they might tell me I can give so many A's, so many B's, and then I try to follow that as best I can. Generally, during the pandemic, I've been more generous with grading. I feel that the situation is very unfair for the students. And as long as you are doing your work, showing me your work, doing it on time, I try to give the best grades possible, but you have to do your work and you have to do it on time and you have to do a good job. In other words, do your job as a student and then I do my best uh, to be as fair as possible with the grading. If there's any questions about the grades and, the, and whatnot, you can ask me anytime during the semester in an email. Attendance, students are expected to attend class regularly and be on time. That means watch the video, do the work, do the homework, send me your answers on time. If a student is absent uh, for a legitimate reason, that student must inform the instructor in order for the absence to be excused. All unexcused absences will count against the student's final class grade. Okay, being late twice equals one time absent. What is late? Late means not emailing me on time. Okay, I mean, you, you're, I'm giving you plenty of time. So if you're five minutes late, you're late. Get your email to me on time. There's no reason to be late. You have lots of time. But if you have a good reason to be late or to miss the work, then you must tell me in an email. Maybe you had some family emergency or you had to go to the hospital or, you know, sometimes things come up that are reasons for not doing your work. If that happens, and I hope nothing happens, of course, but if that happens, 
email me right as soon as possible and explain the situation. Then I will give you more time or I will excuse your absence depending on the situation. But you must let me know as soon as you can. Now, when you email me, do not reply to the emails I send the class. Create a new email thread for me and you together. So do a fresh email. Hello, professor. This is my work. This is my question. Mo, 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 mo. Right? And then you and I will communicate by email directly. Every email you send me must have your name, your student ID number, and the number of our class. You can put it in the subject, you can put it in the email, up to you, but it must be there every time. Otherwise, I, I have too many students, I can't figure out who is who and you won't get credit for your email or your work. Okay, name, ID number, class number, every time. Make that a habit. Okay, better for you, better for me. Okay, so that's our basic class plan. We will do two videos. One video is based on the green textbook, the main reading book for our class. The other video is based on the blue book, the listening lab book. I will send both videos together every Monday. I'll send you the link. You will have roughly three days, two and a half, three days to watch the videos, do the work, do the homework, email me, right? Get it done, get it done on time, and you will get full credit. Of course, you have to do a good job. And when I read your, your homework, if I feel that you haven't done a good job, I will let you know. Um, make a good effort in our class and you can do well in this class. Don't be afraid of English. Uh, I know it's not as good to be studying online, and I'm sorry about that. I would love to be in the class with you, but I can't right now. Uh, when we can, we will, and I really hope to see you maybe for the midterm final. Let's see, let's hope. Just do your best and ask lots of questions. If you have any questions or problems about the video, the homework, the class, anything at all, ask me in your email. I'm happy to answer your questions. Okay. All right, a little bit about me. I live here in Seoul. I live fairly close to Hongdae. I love living here. I've been here many years. I love Hongdae. It's a great school. Um, I hope you're all proud to be studying there. I think it's an excellent place to be. Um, I'm from the United States. Maybe you've been to the US. Um, I've been from a city called Seattle which is in the northwest of the US. It's a great city, it's famous for um, seafood, beautiful mountains, ocean, and of course, Starbucks is from Seattle, and so is Microsoft, how about that? If you've been to Seattle, you could let me know in your email if you like. Okay, that's all, that's all for now. This is an introduction. Week number one, it's very basic. Watch the introduction, which you've done, Get the textbooks, that's your homework. Buy those two textbooks, go to the university bookstore. I know the green one is only available at the university. The blue one, maybe you can order online, it's up to you, but just get them. You must get the books before next Monday's lectures. You must send me an email by Thursday morning, 9 a.m., okay? Thursday morning, 9 a.m. to get your attendance credit for this week's class. Just send an email, professor, I watched the video, I bought the books, question, okay, good, uh, and that's it. Oh, and of course, it must be in English. All right, it's great to have you. I'm, I'm excited to teach you this semester. I'm happy to have you as students, and I hope you work hard, and I hope you uh, get, gain a lot from our course. I hope that you feel that your English is improving. Work hard, do the work. Uh, make some effort and your English will improve and I hope that you enjoy our class. That's all for this week. I look forward to getting your email. Have a great week, everyone. Welcome aboard. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.